Let's go. Welcome back to Auto Car Zone. The 2025 Corvette Stingray may be the entry level model in Chevy's sports car lineup, but it's anything but ordinary. This high performance vehicle is powered by a 6.2 liter V8 engine that delivers 490 horsepower, positioned right behind the cabin. This setup allows the Corvette to achieve an impressive 0 to 60 miles per hour time of just 2.8 seconds in our tests. Although a manual transmission isn't available, the 8-speed automatic transmission does an excellent job of selecting gears and offers quick, satisfying shifts, especially when using the paddle shifters on the steering wheel. The handling is exceptional, offering a balanced and agile experience that encourages drivers to push harder through each corner. However, the Corvette isn't just about power and precision, it's also practical enough to be a daily driver. The cabin is comfortable, the ride is smooth, and the cargo space is generous for a sports car. If you opt for one of the top three LZ trims, you'll enjoy luxury features such as a Bose sound system, upgraded sports seats, a head-up display, and Napa leather upholstery. What's truly remarkable is that the Corvette offers all of this, along with its exotic mid-engine design, at a fraction of the cost of a Ferrari, Lamborghini, or McLaren. Yet it still turns heads like those high-end rivals. For 2025, two new colors have been added to the Corvette's exterior palette, Competition Yellow Tint Coat, Metallic, and Hysteria Purple Metallic. Additionally, Chevy has introduced two new interior color schemes, one called Habanero, and another that features blue stitching on black upholstery. The Z51 Performance Package now includes a redesigned rear spoiler, and a leather-wrapped steering wheel airbag cover is available. You can also opt for Velocity Yellow Brake Calipers. The 2025 Chevrolet Corvette is priced from $69,995, to $88,745, depending on the trim and options. It's available in both coupe and convertible versions, with the latter featuring a folding hardtop. Since the coupe already has a removable roof for open-air driving, we'd recommend sticking with it.